Okay, so we created the simple flower head in the previous video. Let's add a stem, a couple more flowers and some leaves. Keep an eye out for the branching tool, which will save lots of time in future designs. The first step will be to create some more flowers. To make this easier to control, I will group what is already on the screen. Under the Arrange toolbar, the first option is Group, or as you can see, the keyboard shortcut is Control G. Now simply right click, hold and drag will duplicate the group. Release the mouse when you are happy with the placement. Repeat the process to create as many flower heads as you want. The next step is to create the stems. You have a choice of two tools. The more conventional open shape tool, which involves clicking vector points along a path. Remember less is best, so use as few mouse clicks as you can to make the shape you require. If it is to be a curve, then make them right clicks. Alternatively, you have the freehand open shape tool, which is ideal for using with a drawing tablet with a stylus. Or click hold and drag with the mouse, left button, for a beautiful flowing line. You may have noticed I selected my stem color before digitizing the stems, but neglected to choose the stitch type. So now is a good time to open the object properties list. Under the design settings menu, choose object properties. But for me, the easiest way to get there is to select the stems, then right click and select object properties from the list. Either way, whatever suits you. Now I'm going to select backstitch. I've managed to digitize the stems after the flowers. No problem. Use the resequence toolbar to reorder the objects. Either select the green and drag to the top of the list or hit the up arrows. At this stage, I have three separate stems that will require thread trims. To create a continuity of the backstitch and avoid the trims, I would like to introduce you to the branching tool, which will eliminate the trims and give a continuous stitch from the start of the stems to the finish. The branching tool is to be found in the edit menu and will only be active if at least two objects are selected. To be most effective, all objects should be touching at least one other. I like the shortcut letter I to activate the tool. Notice when I select the stems, the jump stitches show. Now select the branching option and notice in my prompt bar at the bottom of the work area, I'm prompted for the entry point. Click once and the prompt changes to exit point. Click once again to finalize the branching. With an open-ended object, the branching must begin and end at the same point to be really effective. I will do a quick redraw here to show you the result. You will notice the software has created automatic travel runs to allow a continuous stitch. Now for some leaves, so back to the digitizing tools. Here again we have a choice of tools, and I like the digitizing block shapes tool. This is ideal for shapes that vary in width, and you have great control over the stitch angle as you go. Simply click either side of the column, making sure the nodes are pretty much opposite each other. The distance apart will determine the width of the column. Remember, right click for curves. Why do the nodes need to be opposite each other? Because each pair of points determines the stitch angle. Of course, if you do not get it right first time, it's easy to reshape and add or delete nodes using the reshape tool. To create a pair of identical leaves, right click and drag the original leaf, making sure the bottom of the leaf is on the other side of the stem. Now second left click to make the rotation point appear and move it to the point you want the new leaf to rotate from. Click, hold and drag a corner handle and adjust the leaf. Because we have duplicated an object, the start and finish points of the objects do not line up. So selecting both and hitting the shortcut key J will realign the start and finish points. Now we have created a pair of single coloured leaves that can now be placed along the stems. For easy management, group the pair, Control G, then right click to duplicate them and place identical leaves along the stems. If you need to rotate the pair of leaves, 
Remember to second click and move the rotation point as before. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure you check out our other videos for more hatch tips and tricks or tutorials.